worry about following the music. Just move with your body. I definitely would emphasize the, the group approach because it is different than if you just go and see a, an art therapist or work with someone individually, then there's much more, um, it seems more, it feels more powerful to me to do that in a group and have um, all those witnesses around and, um, and witness other people doing their work. Um, and I think that's really the, the beauty in, in groups that um, there is, um, there's something else happening, kind of more interpersonal. So the purpose of the 60s was to get unlocked and, and, and to get into being expressive. So the 60s didn't accomplish a hell of a lot more than that. It accomplished playing the, the game of spontaneity. Now we have to take it from there and say, now that we've, you know, that we've achieved spontaneity, what does, that, what does it mean? Where are we going with it? Does it imply novels or plays or great works of art or poetry? So I think that we are moving in the right direction. The art seems to give us both the artist and the observer an equal look somehow at the thing, at the, at the object of art, and then we get to link up somehow. And it doesn't always work that way verbally. So it's, it's interesting in that way too. The main thing is not to get stuck back where we started from, of the, yes. the tightness and the, the hyper uh, cognitive theoretical behavior where spontaneity disappears or fades.